Comic Con! Seven is real! Hey Andrew, it's so nice to meet you. I'm so glad you watch our shows and uh, looking forward to getting more. Talking about all our great ideas. <laughs> Uh, Andy Enemy! I'm surprised I'm even in here. I was talking to one of them and then they, I just kind of fall along. My name is Christian Potenza and I'm awesome. <laughs> the reason I'm awesome is because of the wonderful people I work with and the job that we do. We're not giving out any spoilers. Get up. <laughs> All right, let's start way over there with Mr. Brian Frau. Brian, what do you do, buddy? I am a voiceover artist or actor, and I play Harold uh, and Sam in season four. Nice. So, yeah. And what other voices do you do, man? Uh, I do BZ from Jimmy Two Shoes, Hawk Tour from Bakugan, and uh, uh, Reiji from Beyblade, and uh, Porcupine, and Ringmaster from Psychic. Okay, it's not a competition, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I want my resume if anybody wants to hire me. <laughs> right on. All right, next to Brian Proud is Drew Nelson. How you doing, everyone? <laughs> I'm Drew Nelson, I play Duncan on Duncan Drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got Scott McCord. Hi, uh, my name is Scott McCord. I play Owen, and I play uh, I play Trent. And uh, um, when I'm a sidekick, I am uh, I am I am your dad. He plays <laughs> Mr. Troublemeyer. Mr. Troublemeyer. Uh, you might know me from such hits as uh, Yin Yang Yo. I was I played Yang on a Disney cartoon called Yin Yang Yo. Skull Boy on Ruby Gloom. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... It just got real. It just got real. <laughs> I'm feeling so grounded right now. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh... I got enough. Terry, let's move on. <laughs> There's others. I'm not sure the other characters he played either. Terry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 Terry McGurin. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm the voice of Jonesy on 16. Um, I'm also the voice for uh, Scaredy Squirrel, which premieres on White TV uh, this month. And um, I, uh, I wrote on 16. I wrote several episodes of 16, several episodes of Total Drama, several episodes of Stoked, and I was the story editor on the Scaredy Squirrel series. I was Scaredy Squirrel for seven episodes. <laughs> Those tapes have been burned. <laughs> I have a cheap, unused squirrel voice, if anyone wants it, for a cartoon. Yeah, but we turned your costume into Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Green Lantern's Scary Squirrel. Hi everyone, I'm Megan Fallenbach, Gwen on the Total Dramas, and Jen on 16. And that poor squirrel just doesn't want anyone to look over there. She has nuts in her mouth, and she doesn't want anyone to know. Um, and I also am on that awesome show, Yin Yang Yo. I play a really smelly Um French, French on it. Uh, Get Ed, I played a character Deets, and there are others, many others. Um, no, and I love what I do. I'm really, I'm so excited that you all are here to uh, support yeah. us. Like, Woo! this is so exciting. I think that this is what it's about. It's you guys. So, uh, enough about me. We'll pass this along, and I can't wait to hear from y'all. All right, check it. Stephanie Mills. I don't really know how to follow that one up, but uh, I'm Stephanie Mills. I play Lindsay right there. And I play Katie as well on Total Drama. And I was Kirsten in the Khaki Barn on the 16th. Kirsten? Kristen. Kirsten. Kirsten. Well, we still don't know. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> kind of one of the same. 
Um, but I played Vanna on Sidekick, which is awesome. New cartoon. And um, I guess that's it. There are others, but... Oh, I told my dad the rock star as well. There you go. Yeah. I'll add that in since everybody else did. We'll get to it all soon enough like your questions. <laughs> Next to her is Denise Oliver. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Denise Oliver. I play the voice of Kitty Co. on Sidekick. And uh, Ben here is my best friend and bully. Um, I also voice uh, Mauricia from uh, Wayside. And Hazel the Squirrel from My Friend Rabbit. Gross, man. Uh, <laughs> I know. It works for me, though. Um, and I uh, play you on Bailey. You, why you, why, not why, oh, you, oh. why you, on, uh, on Bailey. That's where I'm at. And so, here you go. Right on. Now, it's going to turn. It gets real boring. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about the voice actors. Let's get on to the people and the reason why us voice actors are here talking to you. Next, you're going to meet the creators and the animators of awesome shows. Next is Joey So. Hi, I'm Joey So. I'm the uh, co-creator and director of Sidekick, and I've worked on a whole bunch of other stuff, animating and drawing and stuff like that. Told ya. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Can you tell them a little bit about international sales? <laughs> I can, but you do not want to hear it. <laughs> All right. And the reason I'm here, Todd Kaufman, Mark Thornton, these guys are Neptune Studios. Yeah. Eight years ago, I went in for an audition. I hadn't booked anything ever because I was always going out for the wrong role. I get a call, my agent says, they want you to be a bratty 12 year old. I was like, okay, I can do that. So, <laughs> met with Todd, come in for an audition for Sidekick, that was eight years ago. We do the pilots, I do a little voice, and he talks like this, he's bratty. <laughs> Three months later, I auditioned for a show called 16. And they said, well, he's 16, but he's a little, sort of skater guy. So I talk like this. <laughs> I got the part. <laughs> three years later, three years later, I go for an audition for a show called Total Drama, and they, they say, he's like mid-30s. So I talk like this. <laughs> and I got the part. <laughs> you told me. But I've worked with a lot of people, and a lot of things, have, you know, it's been shifting to other voices and stuff, but a lot of this talent up here does a lot of voices, like Scott McCord is the man of a thousand voices. Yeah, a well, thousand voices, one show. I am one voice, a thousand shows. <laughs> but he's awesome, isn't he, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> yeah, I prefaced that from the beginning, just so we're clear. But, you know what, we... we uh, take a lot of pleasure in we love our jobs we've got the best job going I mean I am part of Saturday morning cartoons I ride my skateboard to work uh, you were wrong guidance counselor McNulty you were wrong uh, Stephanie Mills yes and uh, on the biking uh, on the bike challenge in one episode near the end you and a whole bunch of swearing insults to, to the actually the meanest girl on the island. Yes. And I come with the swear over at my line, just rewind that an entire time. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> but I, I want to know how you felt doing that. How I felt doing all of the swear words, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dirty. Tell us how you feel. Well, so I really don't want to talk about it because it was just, uh, well, it was a bit traumatizing, but I can never disclose really what was said. It's kind of a bit, you know, dirty. What is and it's a secret. <laughs> so you just have to, you just have to imagine what, what it was, I guess. Have, have any of you ever found yourself in an uncomfortable position doing a voice? 
or a situation you never want to... usually tend to be slightly uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, what makes you uncomfortable? Oh, uh, we, uh, we have to do a thing um, called a library. Yes, oh, library. Um, any character on any cartoon, you have to do a library, and that's a series of um, every little noise a person makes, like clearing your throat, or uh, impacts. like impacts, like so you fall out of bed, so you have to do this, <coughs> oh, you're falling from higher, Oh! You know, like, and you have to do this, and you do it, and it's like 45 minutes of you alone in a booth just making, that's you, that's you, that's you, you know, and you're just doing that for 45 minutes, and by the end of it, you're just, you forget how embarrassed you are. That's the only way you but can get But the people in the booth, like, uh, these guys, they really enjoy that. You can just, you know, for three hours going, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, you, you're, we're not getting it. Do it again. You uh-huh. know. Uh-huh. 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 It's not a statement. Random sleep noises. I, I actually got a story regarding that. Uh, I, I, I was living in Vancouver for a while, uh, so I had to... Um, I had to do what's called a phone patch, where the, the producers of the cat and the director would be in Toronto while I'm in Vancouver, so I'd go to a studio in Vancouver. And uh, I worked with these two great technicians there. And this one episode, I had to do these horrible vomiting noises. And like, as a kid, I hated throwing up as a kid. I don't know, I'm sure I'll, anyway, we shouldn't be talking about this right now. But uh, so I had to do these like really gut-wrenching vomiting noises. And like, what's your one? <laughs> oh, oh, what? What's your one? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to. Uh, but anyway, so long story short, I almost literally Vomited. threw up on, on, on the microphone. Like, it, 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 it shocked me how committed I was to this vomiting. Uh, yeah, so there's a story. That's a great story. How do you, do you like being the, the one that farts a lot? <laughs> Don't hold back, Scott. The people want to know. Well, let me tell you guys, when we have to do library, <laughs> it's... No, I mean, you know, all that, all that stuff. Uh, what's your name, by the way, young man? Lucas. Hey, Lucas. Um, uh, you know what? I'll be honest, it's a blast. I, I feel like I've got, I, get to, I get to be that guy. <laughs> On the, on the show, you know, it's stuff that I can't do at home, it's stuff that Christian and I used to get in trouble for in school all the time. <laughs> you were now, wrong, guy, it's Counselor <laughs> McDonald. <Don't> do <laughs> you were wrong! <laughs> I will get paid for farting someday. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's a lot of fun to do, actually. It's not like embarrassing or anything like that. And it's actually all done in uh, what's called post-production, right? So... It's not really... I'm not really farting. It's not really farting. <laughs> They saw it for us. He still records alone because we're not really sure. Yeah, we laugh a lot. We laugh a lot at what, when, like, there are times where oh. I know, if I know, I'm the worst. If I, <laughs> I know it'll take me a while. If I get the giggles, it just won't end, and I can just see him like leave the room in the recording booth when I get the uh, when I get the giggles. But uh, fart knocker, fart knocker, yeah, I and we <laughs> called each other fart knocker. It's 16, and it took me a long time to get the word fart knocker out. I mean, that's my job to say one word. I couldn't do it. Uh, how about you guys? You're the funniest. Anyone got a really good funniest moment uh, working on uh, Total Drama or Sidekick? <laughs> I loved, uh, you're saying that you didn't do the farts, but you actually do. I, do, I make all the fart noises. I do. When you, do that, you know they're not going to be there, but you love yeah. yeah. Um, do there's, there's tons of funny moments. I mean, Christian's hilarious when he's, uh, when he's in the booth because you can't stop him once he's, he, you know, if he gets on a tirade with uh, the, the voice director, they, they have words. They, they, they'll fight back and forth, and it, gets, it can get pretty nasty at times. I can, I can, I can, yeah, I can resolve an issue by just taking my shirt off and rubbing my nipples. Because you know what, I get a lot of, and everyone's like, Duncan and Courtney, and Duncan and Gwen, like there's two camps. What's not going on between Duncan and Gwen right now? 